Well, go on and what's up? It's Josh. Welcome back. Today we're reacting to Titan Season 3, Episode 11. Um, don't know what this one's called, but I didn't look beforehand. Um, last week we had um, Crane turned, the the turned Gotham against the Titans. And then the GCPD tried to take in the Titans and then the Titans fought back and now they're kind of all on the run. We also had the return of Donna Troy and Raven. Um, so we're going to see how they integrate into the team this episode. And Crane and Jason moved into Wayne Manor at the end. So without further ado, let's just get into it. If you guys enjoy, remember to like and subscribe. Taking into account the Crane's alter... So, it's weird seeing him without a beard. Like, really fucking weird. Um, I would have paused it earlier, but it's, it's playing music and I can't show the clip. So, here, here, here it is. Um, but yeah, he's shaved and he's um, in the back cave listening to his own file. So, that's what's gone on. Will you ever be good enough? Well, let me end your suspense right now. No. You're never going to be good enough for Bruce Wayne. <laughs> it's just like Crane always just has these mental breakdowns, which are so perfect for his character because he's insane. And it always just seems to be taken out on Jason. <laughs> and it's just like, what the fuck? Why are you burst in my room? What the fuck are you doing, you crazy motherfucker? Might be holed up in Chinatown. Chinatown? That's where I live. Classic Gotham bullshit. <laughs> yeah, it is, isn't it? Classic Gotham bullshit. I love that that's like the phrase that's been going throughout the whole series, like from episode one. It's always classic for Gotham bullshit. And I'm really enjoying like just continuously like it. All the Titans know, but it's class classic Gotham bullshit. I forgot how useful she was to have around. Like, she's just OP as fuck. I love it. Raven's always been, like, one of my favourite comic book characters. And to see her in a live-action show, it's just fucking awesome. Is this the first time we've been to Wayne Enterprises in the whole show? Because I don't remember it remember going here at all. That's kind of cool if it is. What has he got? Like... What would Wayne have? I mean, other than Kryptonite, what would Wayne have near him at all times for a threat like that? And I mean, the glow, the green glow would suggest Kryptonite, but... There's no reason he'd need kryptonite for either of them. But maybe it's just to symbolise that it's Jason's kryptonite or Scarecrow's kryptonite that he's got in the vault. As in, like, the greens to symbolise a weakness. I, I don't know. Maybe I'm just chatting out my house. I'm sure you folks have a lot to catch up on, but I really need to get in touch with my team. So if we could just put the family trauma aside for, like, a We didn't know where you... So if it's all the same to you, let's crank up this garbage... Let me get in touch with my team, and I'll get out of your hair. Fucking love this from Donna, man. She's just like, shut the fuck up, please. I'm trying to get on with my life. I'm trying to get back to the team, and you man are fighting over this. Like, <laughs> they're just complaining it was the fucking Stone Ages, and now they've got tech. They're like, nah, we don't want none of it. Nah, fuck off, shut up. Is this Tamarin? Are we, are we finally seeing it? Holy shit. Your daughter does not possess that which the throne of Tamaran demands. How can that be? Every member of the family has. The fire that burns within your veins is absent within this child. Oh, I've just figured it out. 
Well, I've just figured it out. So Cory was originally born without the powers. So then they gave, they birthed Blackfire to gave the powers to Cory. And they were always originally Blackfire's powers. Oh no. So last episode when Cory's powers got stolen, they didn't, they just got taken back. Fuck. What the? Whoa. Oh, nah, man. That's deep. I didn't see it coming. Shit. May the fire that burns within Commander be given to Coriander. It's so fucked, man. No wonder. No wonder Blackfire hates her so much. I reckon deep down she's always known it. Fire. I love how she's so casual about that. I was just rocking her baby like, eh. <laughs> Oh shit, I forgot my wallet upstairs. Hang tight, okay, I'll get you a big tip. Oh, sure. <clears throat> no problem. <laughs> oh, I just love Crane. Just like, yeah, come into my crib. That isn't mine. Look at the stuff that I'm going to take credit for, which isn't mine. <laughs> Just what anyone would do, really, wouldn't they? Like, may as well just take credit for it all. You imagine having, like, a rich friend and be like, oh, you can stay at my place. I'd literally, I'd, I'd, I'd just be like, yeah, come in, come in. Have a look around. What do you think? Yeah, I, I'll work really hard for this. Dick, it's a trap. Yeah, I know. That's why I'm going. So I'm going, too. Nope. Look, I don't mean to get all Lex Luthor. Use like your fucking super weapon right now. Use it. There's nothing actually. They they've been to the back cave. They probably have a shitload of kryptonite kryptonite waiting for this, Donny. Maybe don't take him. I don't know. I I feel like you should, but you shouldn't. Cause cause if he, if I don't have kryptonite, then they're fucked. But if I do, then you're fucked. Cause. You then got to worry about another person, but I don't know. And there's really not a thing you can do to stop me. I was worried you'd say that. There was actually, it was actually kryptonite in the vault, weren't it? <laughs> He's just going to use kryptonite on his own teammate. That's so fucked, Dick. That is so fucked. This is why Dick can't be the leader. He's too fucked up. He's too much like Batman. Yeah, I, I just, when I thought, I said, when I was like talking about Jason's kryptonite, I thought, oh, green glow, like, it wouldn't actually be kryptonite, but it actually was, I did say Bruce always keeps, keeps kryptonite close to him. All right, Red Hood, let's finish this. I'm actually so excited for this fight, to be honest, like... We've had a couple throughout the season between, like, the first episode or the second one. The first first fight where they were in the warehouse, uh, when Dick finds out Red Hood's Jason was sick. Then the one in the forest was sick. I've just, I don't know whether this will be their final fight, but I'm actually looking forward to it because we haven't had one between them for a while. And all of this screaming, this squirming, this fighting, this shouting, this crying. That's wonderful. <laughs> Keep it coming. I need the positive reinforcement. Crane, you're just so fucked, man. You're just so fucked. There's no saving you, you're just fucked. <laughs> but it's funny, it's kind of funny, I'm not gonna lie to you, it's just a little bit funny. <laughs> no. 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 He used to go back to smoking weed. He wasn't half as crazy when he was doped up. He's not been smoking recently. That's what I'm saying, like. Man just needs to, to burn a zoo, that's it. I spent half my life on an island learning how to lead five people against 50. Or 50 against 500. Maybe it's time to start putting it to use. 
Sounds like some Rachel Gould shit from Batman Begins. Where it's like, you can take on six men, I'll teach you how to engage 600. Bats. Bat symbolisation, as always. Because it's Gotham. Classic Gotham bullshit. Don't worry. It's from a bottle. Alright. How'd she get a lot of them? Because I know... I know she ain't carry that baby and then carry her at the same time. There ain't no fucking way. No will on the planet you'd be able to do that. What the fuck? Why? What? Oh, you know what? Okay. So I've got a couple of questions. Where is this place, and why is it so iconic to both of them? I don't, I don't recognise it. And um, <laughs> classic Gotham bullshit, really. <laughs> Jumping down, disappearing, very Batmany. God damn it, Dick. If you're gonna try and be a fucking psycho all the time, Dick, and just to not trust anyone and backstab him and hit him with her weaknesses, you can't do it half the time. You can't hit Connor with kryptonite and then not shoot Jason Todd. It's not how it works. Holy shit! It wasn't even Jason who did it! <laughs> Fuck! For all credits, go on, this has got to be the end of the episode, right? What the fuck? If Dick survives this, I swear to god. Must have been shot in the neck and is being kicked to a pulp by the citizens of Gotham. There's no way this man can survive this, surely, right? I don't really know what's going on with Jason. I'm just, I just see it and think, okay, like, he just, he's bipolar, isn't he? It's like, I want something to happen and then he, it happens and then he doesn't want it to happen. And it's like, you gotta make a decision, kid, like shit. <laughs> What the fuck is happening to her? Like, what? How, what? Uh, you know what? That'll be explained at some point. I just I don't know anymore. How bad do we reckon the damage to the crane, to his face he's done? Is this going to be the first time we see him in the mask? Because this is the one thing I've been looking forward to all series. Jason. Holy shit! What the fuck? He was just a pizza guy going about his day, man. Trying to earn a buck or two, excited about an extra big tip, being in a rich person's house. And what, what, what did he deserve this for? You know, the time for masks is over. Man. Why did you have to do that? Why did you have to do that to yourself? What has that brought? What has that done? Does that made you feel a bit better about yourself? I'm glad. Fuck, man. Well, well, well. Um, two episodes to go. Fucking Crane's lost the plot again. Um... Jason's had another fucking panic attack. Dick's dead, basically. Effectively, that's what happened. I think Rachel's going to be the one to save him. That's just what looks like it's happened. That looks like it's going to link. 
Donna's going to lead an army against the police. I don't know how that's going to go. Um, apparently it came out that we're going to see Tim take on wear the Robin, the Robin costume. So hopefully, I reckon that'll be the last episode of the series. Um, Starfire's realised that her powers weren't hers and she's got different powers. And Connor did fuck all this episode. We actually had an episode without, basically without Connor or Blackfire. Um, which is kind of cool, you know. Like, I feel like they're trying to be, be exploring both of those characters quite a bit. So it's kind of cool to see that. Um, what else? Yeah, I think that's it pretty much. Um, let's go over some theories because there's two episodes left for the end of the season. Um, I reckon that we'll get a, a final standoff with all the Titans, as in like Nightwing, Robin, as in De uh, Tim Drake's Robin, Gar, Raven, Blackfire, Starfire, Superboy, and Crypto. And maybe even Barbara. I reckon Barbara might be there as well. I reckon we'll see Bruce Wayne return to Gotham. Um, I think we'll see Ra uh, Raven's powers adapt a bit more. I reckon something's got to happen with Jason. I don't think he's going to die. I've said this from the start. I don't think they'll kill him off. Um, I reckon they'll hint at a, uh, a spin-off show. I think that's the wisest direction to go for him. Um, I reckon Crane will either be locked back up or die. Um, what else? I reckon there'll be like this reconnection between Blackfire and Starfire. And I reckon one of them, I reckon it'll probably be Starfire will end up going back to, um, to Tamarin. Oh, that's the other thing I really enjoyed about this episode, like looking into Tamron and seeing Tamron. I thought that was so cool. Um, yeah, if you guys enjoyed, remember to like and subscribe and I'll see you in the next one.